So, this was posted yesterday. Titans wide receiver opens up about limited targets. And this is Tyler Boyd's opening up against the, about the Bengals. Now, at the end of the day, on this channel, sometimes I take some things personally. Personally. Okay? Not all the times, but sometimes I do. And sometimes I can be hard-headed with certain things that are said. You know? Hey, listen. I'm a fanatic. That's kind of how I treat myself here. So, when I hear things said about the Bengals, I don't, and if they're not positive, I'm going to sometimes attack back, right? You attack us, I attack back. I feel personal attacked when it comes to this team and someone saying bad about this team. But, this situation, I don't, well, I'm going to take this with a grain of salt, and you guys can tell me down below if I'm being too naive about the situation. So, here's what he had to say about the whole situation with the Bengals. He said, the most important thing is unselfishness. We need guys who can count on each other and aren't worried about target shares. When I first read that, I took that as an insult toward T. Higgins and an insult toward, you know, Jamar Chase and an insult toward everybody else. Because obviously, Jamar Chase, you know, I'm always effing open. Someone else has to do some job. But if we go ahead and look at the context of what he said here, Boyd's personal goal is to contribute to this team's success, whether it is through making key catches or providing support uh, to his teammates or helping develop the team's offensive strategy. And then obviously, that quote was posted. I don't think it was, in theory, again, a target toward anyone on the Bengals, but... That sounded malicious when I first read it, okay? It sounded like, hey, listen, over here, we actually care about, you know, like, working together and not working on, oh, I need a 1,000 yards, I need a 1,000 yards, I need to get the ball, I'm not getting the ball throughout this game. And obviously, last season, there has been some turmoil, not much, but a little bit of turmoil when it comes to, you know, Chase not getting the football in some games and this, that, and the third. So, I again... I'll be very naive here, but I don't think this was like a target attack. I think this is just him talking about how good his situation is now in Tennessee with having, you know, Calvin Ridley on one side, the other side, DeAndre Hopkins. Now you have himself. Although I feel like, isn't DeAndre Hopkins, correct me if I'm wrong, isn't DeAndre Hopkins a receiver who like kind of wants the ball all the time? Like he wants the targets all the time? Maybe not. Maybe I'm misreading how he acts. But that's what I always thought of DeAndre. Yeah, maybe I'm incorrect. Going down here, though, uh, Callahan appreciates knowledge of the offense and how he helps other players learn the system. Tyler, in particular, he's been in the system. It allows him to have some wisdom and be able to impart some advice on guys in, uh, on guys in terms of the system. He's been in it for a long time, so it's a really valuable person to have in here for our receivers and for me. Um, continuing down the line here, he does talk about this might, there might be some games where I might not get as many targets as I may have wanted. But at the same time, as long as I'm doing what I got to do to free up my guys, free my guys to get open and catch the passes and we're winning is, uh, and we're winning is something you can't put your head down about. I've been a part of being targeted every time I've been a guy who hasn't been targeted much. It works both ways. Okay, so he's saying sometimes he, he's been in the situation where he's been targeted every single play. Obviously, before Joe Burrow got here, back when, you know, we still had A.J. Green and before T. Higgins and Jamar Chase, Tyler Boyd was the guy. He was the guy who got targeted a lot, got a lot of receptions, got a lot of targets, so it does make sense, yeah. And then he says... Either way, he doesn't care. He doesn't care whether he is the guy who gets all the passes or he doesn't get any of the passes. As long as he's winning, that's all he cares about. And that's why I love Tyler Boyd. That's why I really do love Tyler Boyd. And it sucks that he's gone, but, you know, that's just a part of football and just a part of how things go. There's a little gray area where I feel upset when I don't get targets. But at the end of the day, I'm confident in myself. I'm confident in my ability. I know what I can do. When the opportunity comes, I'm going to show out. So, kind of interesting. Okay, so he's saying that 
he does sometimes feel upset when he doesn't get the football, which obviously is last year in Cincinnati. I mean, he got targets, but not as much because we wanted to get some other receivers in there because he was leaving, right? So you want to get some other receivers to football as well. All right. I mean, again, like I said, I don't think this in any way is an attack toward us. Um, just this one. I don't know. That, 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 that one quote right here kind of just... I don't know. That just kind of sounds weird to me. But I think I'm overlooking that. I think I'm, w I'm looking way too far into that completely. Um, but yeah, again, like I said, I, I hope he's successful in Tennessee. I really do. I'm excited to see how he develops in Tennessee. I'm excited to see how, you know, he blossoms. And I think he's going to be a great option for the Titans here. So hopefully it works out for him. And hopefully it works out for Brian. I'll be rooting for Brian here and rooting for Tyler Boyd's success. Obviously, I don't want, you know... <laughs> I don't want um, the Titans to be that good of a team because, you know, hey, listen, that's... They're also in the AFC here, okay? Like, there's only a certain degree that I can, you know, say, hey, good, good job, Titans here. But overall-wise, I'm excited to see what this upcoming season will bring. So tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys next one. Deuces.